I'm Taisha and welcome to Shauna's Space. <laughs> um, so it has occurred to me, or rather it was requested, that I should give a lot update because, you know, I haven't said anything about my locks since I posted that video back in August, I believe it was. Um, so I recently relocked my hair, so that's not what we're going to be doing today. Oh gosh. So that's not what we're going to be doing today. But, uh, I haven't worn my hair loose since before then, so. But what ended up happening is I wasn't happy with the size or the method, so I just decided that I would open them and try it a different way. Because basically what was happening is, I guess I was not doing crochet tight enough. So when I washed my hair the first time, because I'm one of those people, I have to wash my hair all the time, I don't know how it will be lasting a month and two when they can't do it, that's not me. So, the first time I washed my hair, like my hair, some of them unraveled, some stayed, but like it was looking real horrible. And it just was really hard, very difficult to deal with because my hair is not long. So, I mean, it's not like the shortest, but it's not long. So, it's very difficult to deal with like some thick clots because those were fairly thick ish. And that size would be amazing if my hair was longer, but my hair is short. So, it was very, very difficult to deal with. And so I decided to open them and make them shorter just so I would know that I'd be able to last on the string. So when I opened them, instead of continuing with the crochet method, I decided to do interlocking. So I know we don't really hear about men that actually start lots with interlocking, the interlocking sorry, but that's what I decided to do. So basically to do the interlocking, I well, I twisted the bottom, so you just you know where you see the curl, it's just a very small twist, and then to interlock, you would take the end and go through. From depending on your rotation you're doing, you would go through. You know, like I will go through here, and then it will come through from the side. You know, All right? So you could do two point, three point, or four point. I was doing four point, and so I did that all up the shaft. I made sure not to do it like too, 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 too close to the roof. roof. Because one thing that I I heard is that some people don't even recommend interlocking your hair until after like a month because it what does that mean? Because it 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 slows hair growth or some kind of thing like that. But I feel like that's if you do it too tight. And I am not a person that generally does my hair tight, so I wouldn't have that issue. However, I would not be continuing with interlocking. The interlocking thing was only so it was only so I would be able to wash my hair in the initial stages without my whole hair unraveling. Like, I'm fine with my roots being like loose and a hot mess. Like that's like like your hair will, will not always be perfect. <laughs> and that's literally a part part of this journey. Um I was the kind of person that I felt I had to do my hair every every week or every couple of days because I'm very picky like I hate to see a piece of fuzz like it. I don't like it but you know this allows me to release that and realize that um beauty is not associated with me having a particular hairstyle I am beautiful even when my hair is looking ragsy and I look like a barrel <laughs> so it's a, a whole journey of you know loving yourself even more and it's, it's beautiful <laughs> so, alright, but I won't be doing interlocking anymore because I just prefer how power roll is like, you know when you, when you get a good power roll, you see a good power roll like body going up and you style it. I love locks. <laughs> so, I've been power rolling, so I just, honestly, I, you probably can't see. But, that's just a little, a little view of the style that I have right now. But the, the only issue is that I know that I can do my hair whenever I want. So I give me real tempted to do it every week. But I know that I shouldn't do it every week. But, and the reason is because of tension. However, I do not do my hair tight. So I feel like it's not as much of an issue. Like, all right, chat. Okay, like, look at the front of hair. I relaxed my hair two days ago. 
but like this part where it's the thickest here, my thickest here, you can see that it's already opening, right? But then over here, where it's not my thickest hair, it is still very tight. Well, not very tight, but it's still in because my hair is doing it feel like, right? <laughs> so I don't do my hair tight. And so I feel like it wouldn't be causing all that tension because I mean, my hair is accustomed to being done every week. So it wouldn't be a lot of tension. Like what people just be complaining about. So I don't think it will cause my hair to snap off or anything like that. But on the same hand, I don't need to do my hair every week. So I'm not going to do it. <laughs> I, I might be tempted though. But I, I really love, I'm really loving this lot journey. And somehow, Oh right, I forgot to tell you the date that I started the set. I started the new set, I believe it was September 8th. So today is the today is the 19th, 19th of September, so it's what? A month and two weeks, a month and a month and ten days? <laughs> Something. But yeah, it's, it's a month and a little bit. So but I love it and it looks like I've been locked for a while. Right? <laughs> okay, what do I relock my hair with? Yes, that's what I should answer. So, I can't find the container right now, but when I had the first original method of lava, I was using um, organic olive oil lock and twist gel. I liked it, but I didn't have much and I have a lot of access. I don't, honestly, as someone who can make their own products, I just, I sometimes just can't justify going to the beauty supply store and picking up products because it's like, but I can meet something that will be similar. It might not be um, as effective. Let me be honest. It might not be as effective because I might not have access to the same ingredients that they were put into the product. But at the end of the day, I know what's in my product. I know that I can cut pronounce every word. I know that I can look at the benefits of everything that I put into my product and um, I just really like that. So the last time that I did my hair, last time I relocked my hair, Saturday. Oh, so today's Monday that I'm recording this video. Monday the 19th. So the last time I, I relocked my hair, which was Saturday, I used this product that I made. So it's pink. Obviously, you can't see the color on camera. Um, let me show you on my hand. So, it's kind of creamy. And I walked inside of this. So, originally, I was not even intending to make a product that started away. I was just going to use some flat seed gel. But, I had I had some stuff left back from making lip balm. Yes, you'll be so surprised how many of the base ingredients are very similar in things that you use. So I was making some lip balm. Check out Shauna's natural collection on Instagram. Like the lip balm is so pretty. <laughs> but yes, so so I was making lip balm and I had more, I had some ingredients, some stuff left back. Like I had mixture left back because I made more than the amount of containers that I had. All right. So I thought I had bought more, <laughs> but. I had some, uh, you know, a little, a little remaining mixture. It was very pink. It smells like cotton candy. <laughs> so I was like, hmm, what's to do with this? Like, I'm not gonna just throw it, that's so wasteful. So I decided to make a product. <laughs> and I was like, hmm. So this going to wax. And technically, you ain't really supposed to put wax wax in here, but I feel like, so I wax is not, I don't know. I feel like it won't be as bad as bees wax, but I don't know. Besides, when I write it, was just if I get a builder, I'll just use uh, apple cider vinegar rings as leaf. Um, so basically, what's inside the product is I'm not gonna tell you all my lip balm mixture, but just know that it has in oils, butters, wax, and then I added. Oh, I, and then I mixed that with some flaxy gel. Um, I added some emulsifier wax to bring together the, the, you know, basically the kind of oily mixture with the water mixer, mixture. Um, it wasn't plain flaxseed actually. It had in some marshmallow root and some rose. I just don't remember which one it was. So, it's, that's basically what the product is. 
and that's how I got that creamy thing that has some hold. But obviously it doesn't have like, you know, full, full hole as I would like. But I live in a very humid country and my hair never lasts and the products don't work. Like people's boy here, judging them how they eco style and it's like, oh that works for you. Or you supposed to be putting this gummy wax and it's be like, oh that works for you. Like I just put these things in my head and two seconds later it's look like I never put any in my hair room. I don't even bother no more. Which is why a couple days after relocking over here it looks like that. Like how we understand. In order to keep this front portion looking like it was relocked, I would probably have to put it straight into a stuff. Like as you can see all the back and everything that's in the stuff, it looks as if it has been relocked. But this center front doesn't look as if it's been relocked. But then over here at the side at the front, which is a slightly different texture up here as well. And you know that that side looks as if it's been relaxed so you know what here gonna do what here gonna do but thank you guys so much for watching please remember to like comment and subscribe